as a pastor, you know, I've been thinking how hard it is sometimes to really get clear. There's so many important things as a church that we need to say, that we need to talk about, that we need to stand for. You know, I was reading an article that was just talking about a simple one, the, the polar ice cap. You know, this summer it measured the smallest they've ever measured it. In the 70s, the polar ice cap covered about half of the Arctic Ocean. This summer that came down to 24%. And there's a lot of people who would hear that and go like, ah, I don't want that mixed in with my faith, with my religion. And we need to address that. You know, because that actually is part of our faith life. Taking care of the planet, trying to understand what, what the earth is and sustainability. That is part of, of, of the Christian message, I think. I mean, God so clearly wants us to, to take care of ourselves and our families and our countries and, and, and our world. You know, New Church Theology, we have this idea that, that kind of goes out in circles and ripples. And admittedly, it's very, very uncomfortable. It's not comfortable to talk about those things. It's, it's not comfortable for me. I'm sure it's not comfortable for you. Because they mean change. They mean waking up in a sense. They mean trying to do things a little bit differently. But maybe if we can, there's another world at the end. And I don't know any other group of churches that's going to be able to really establish that in a, in a way that's meaningful. And I'm not talking about churches here as kind of a, a homogeneous where everybody belongs to one church or one denomination. I mean church in its broadest, most universal sense. You know, people who are, who are allied in the heart, maybe doctrines different, maybe beliefs different, maybe not even having the same set of beliefs, maybe not even having belief in a traditional sense. But sharing that heart, that heart on fire, that heart that desires to connect, to care, not just for ourselves, but for the widest world we possibly can. 